Good morning, Stampers. Welcome to Connect to Create. It is the first Thursday of February, and if you've not joined us before here at Connect to Create, um, we are a, cl a collaboration between another Stampin' demonstrator, Kathy Andes, a great friend of mine, um, from Simply Cards by Kathy, and I'm Pat Ferlis from Ferlis Stampin' Flair. And each week we take turns to bring you a technique that might be new, might be old, might be just a reminder, um, but we hope you enjoy it. And we hope you learn something, that's our goal. So today I'm going to do a technique I call faux painting with plastic wrap. And just a bit of history on this technique. Um, I used this technique to paint a half bath many, many years ago um, with paint and plastic wrap. And it was back when doing full painting in your rooms was all the rage. And I'll be honest, it's still in my bathroom and I get lots of compliments to this, to this day on it. So I've kind of adapted it to card making and instead of paint, I use ink, of course. But other than that, the technique is very similar. So let's go ahead and flip my camera down and we will get started. Okay, so the first thing you might think we will need is plastic wrap, of course. And we don't need a lot. Um, so I just take a piece that's maybe, oh, I don't know, three, four inches long, long enough to make it easy to tear and just tear it off. And then we crinkle it up. And you will need one of these for each color that you make or that you use. So I'm gonna set this one here. I already have the rest of them torn. You don't need to watch me tear them off. Um, I'm going to do this technique for you two different times. The first two steps will, for, for yeah, the first steps will be basically exactly the same, um, with just different colors. And the last step is a step that adds some shimmer and shine, shimmer and shine, which if you know me, you know I like shimmer shine and all things glittery. So. The first card I'm going to make for you, we will use Pool Party, Smoky Slate, and Real Red. And this is going to be a Valentine card. So you can, you can either cut your cardstock to size. I'm just using plain basic white. You could use shimmery white. It's certainly not necessary. Um, so I'm just going to use plain basic white. And it doesn't matter which color you start with. <clears throat> Excuse my voice today. I have a bit of a frog in my throat this morning. <clears throat> so I'm going to start with the pool party. I kind of like working from light to dark because it just seems a little easier um, to watch your color mix. If you get too much of the darkest color first, then it's hard to, to maybe get enough of the lighter color. So um, what you do is you just take your little wadded up piece of plastic wrap. Now, if you were doing this on the wall in your bathroom, you'd have a much bigger piece, obviously, but we're just doing it on a little piece of cardstock. And I've got a quarter sheet here. Um, you can start out with a larger sheet and then have pieces to cut off to decorate other parts of your card. Or you can start out with the size um, that you want to end up with. So I am basically just going to add a little pool party using this. And you can see, um, kind of twist and turn your paper so your pattern changes a little bit. You don't want them all to look the same. And you can even spread it out and re-crinkle. And I'm not going to add a lot of each color, just enough. So that's probably good for pool party. So let's set this one aside. And let's add smoky slate. And we're going to do it exactly the same way. I have my piece of small piece of plastic wrap and I'm just crinkling it up into a small ball and then I will add colors. And you can ink each time or you can stamp multiple times after you've inked it. Um, doesn't really matter. 
it's really how much variation. If you stamp multiple times, you'll get more variation of color, of course. Otherwise, they're all going to be relatively dark. Okay, I think that's enough of that color. So now let's go to the red. And the way I'm going to do this today, I'm going to show you, like I said, two different backgrounds, and then I'm going to show you the card that I made with that background. So get my next piece, wrap it into a little ball, and now we're going to start adding some red. This is really quick, easy technique. Um, doesn't require a lot of thinking. And obviously, if you have a color that you would like a little bit more of, you can go back and add some more um, afterwards. That doesn't matter. So it's very forgiving. Um, and it's quick and easy. And you can do so many things with it. So that's basically our first step. I use three colors. You can use as many colors as you want. Um, but I tend to use things in threes. I don't know why, it's kind of what I was taught to do. Now, here comes the shimmer and shine. And the first way I'm gonna show you to get it is by using my Wink of Stella. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna squeeze a small amount of my Wink of Stella on my silicone mat. Help. Sometimes you have to squeeze a little bit harder. Don't need a lot. A little will go a long way, so don't worry about got a big bubble there. Huh. Doesn't matter. Okay. Um, and now you're gonna take another piece of plastic wrap, and this time just kind of tap this around on your silicone mask and pick some up once you get it tapped around a little bit. You don't need a lot. You don't want it fully covered. You just want enough to get a little shimmer and shine. And let me see. I don't know how much you can see that. It is quite slight on this one. I think I got a lot of liquid that came out and maybe not too much color. So let's try and just add a little bit more. Maybe that bubble. This one's a little darker, so I think I got more of the ink or the pigment from the Wink of Stella this time. So let's give this a try. Yeah, at least I can see it showing a little bit more. I'm not sure if you can. But it has basically turned its cardstock into shimmery white. And it's probably very difficult to see in the camera. But I promise you, it's there. Lots of glitter and lots of shine. So now let me show you the card that I made with this. It's a cute little Valentine card with the Love Cats stamp set. Um, I'll be honest, I'm not truly a cat fan. I don't hate them, but I prefer dogs. But this stamp set is so cute. And you can see here that I did my background um, and I cut it with a duck, duckled rectangle die. Um, the cat is color embossed, which means I inked the stamp first with Versamark, then, then I inked it immediately with a color. In this case, I used Smoky Slate, um, and then I heat embossed it. So cute little card um, for, for a Valentine for somebody. So that is my first card. Now I'm gonna make one more background. We're gonna do this one a little bit different. And instead of Wayne Costello, I'm gonna use a different medium to give us the shimmer and shine. And so I will show you that um, at the last step. So the colors I'm using for this card are Crumb Cake, Bermuda Bay, and Blushing Bride. I'm going to start with Crumb Cake. 
And this time, instead of doing the whole card, I'm just going to add a little crumb cake across the bottom. I don't know if you can see, I, I tend to continue to move my plastic wrap ball around a bit, like I said, um, just to give a little bit more variation of texture. So there's my first layer of crumb cake. My next layer I'm going to add is Bermuda Bay. But you can already figure out where I'm going here with this. We're doing a little bit of a beachy scene. Or at least that's my, that's what I'm going for. It's beachy. As we sit here in Michigan, and I think it's close to zero. I don't know. It's very cold. But the sun is out, so that helps, right? And I do feel a little bit sorry for the swans that are out on my lake in this cold weather, but they seem to survive just fine. So there's my water. Now, if you are a person that wants a nice straight line for your water, uh, this may not be the technique for you because with the, with the plastic wrap, it's kind of going to be where it kind of is. And I could mask it and make a straight line, of course, but that's the fun of the technique is you don't have to be precise. So I'm using Blushing Bride for my sky. A little bit different position. There we go. Okay. So there is that background. Now what I'm going to use Get my silicone mat back out here. I have this other product. It's all purpose ink. Um, the one I'm going to use today is frost white. It comes in many, many colors. Stampin' Up! sold this many, many years ago. Um, and I still have some left. It lasts forever. Um, I'm sure you can still purchase it. This is the name of the brand it was in a stoop. Sukaniko, I don't know how to say that. You can see it, I'll try to hold it still. Get a little bit of glare. Um, but it's just called All Purpose Ink. So you shake it up, you can hear the ball inside. And it's just kind of a frosty sort of, a, of an ink. It's really pretty, it's just shimmer. I used an eyedropper to get it out. And I just suck a little bit up into my eyedropper and then put a couple drops on the um, on the silicone mat. And then I will do the same thing with a piece of plastic wrap. So you do want to kind of spread it out because you'll get a lot otherwise and you're going to get a big blotch. This is thicker than Wink Costella. And it does show a little bit more. Um, so once you get it separated out, then you just tap it on your card. And I hope you can see this. I don't know if you can. Sometimes all the lights really wash out shimmer. Um, and again, you don't want it solid. You just want it splotchy. And I think that's pretty good. Let me see if you can see this one a little bit more. I know you can see the shine. I don't know if you can see the definition. Maybe a little bit more there. You can kind of see the pattern. That's probably a pretty good view right there. Pattern of the, um, that you get with the plaster bread. So that is my other background. And now let me pull in the card that I made with that. And again, these colors are Blushing Bride, Bermuda Bay, and Crumb Cake. And here is my card. This card is made with Seaside Bay. And I kept it fairly simple. Just put the three little 
um, sandpipers down here and some grass and a couple of shells. Um, I did add a little sea glass. And it's a thank you card. The background here, if you can see that, is called Brush Strokes Designer Specialty Paper. Um, this paper is gorgeous if you haven't seen that before. Um, it is in the annual catalog. Now, one thing I want to show you on both of these cards, I did decorate the envelope and I used the exact same technique. So just when you do it, just slide a piece of scrap paper under your flap and then you would create the technique the exact same way. And it makes a really pretty presentation on your envelope, don't you think? So that is my second card. The inside, I this one I did have a little bit of a scrap left. And I didn't know how many birds or pieces of grass or seashells I was going to need. This die for these does um, cut two at a time, so I had a couple left. So I just added a leftover strip of the technique and then added um, a few die cuts. Super simple. So that is that card. I sh could show you the inside of my Valentine. Very simple. I used the sentiments from Country Bouquet, I think it's called, and the little hearts are from that as well. And I did decorate the envelope flap the same way, and I just added a few of the little hearts in red. So those are two of the cards, and those are the two where I'm demonstrating the background. I have a third card I'm going to show you. Um, this one uses Sending Smiles stamp set, and the colors for this one were Sahara sand. I just pulled out all the browns that I had, basically. Sahara sand, crumb cake, soft suede, and early espresso. And with this one also, I used um, the all-purpose ink. And like I indicated, this ink does come in many different colors. And one of the colors is Vegas, Vegas gold. So I added some gold in here. It also does have soft suede in the background. But the gold really shows up. So that's my third card. And that's what I wanted to show you today. So let me flip my camera back. And I hope you like that. You can see how um, quick and simple really it is to make a very beautiful background. And you can use those backgrounds any way you choose. You can color them uh, or cut them in die shapes and use it just as a die cut shape, much the same way you would use designer series paper, but you get to Make your own and have some fun while you're doing it. So I hope you join. I hope you enjoyed that. If you like these videos um, from Connect to Create, we would love it if you would share them so we can get some additional followers and just share the fun and help grow our channels. Thank you so much. Have a great day.